Welcome to How to Use the Hobby, found in the Nancy L. Hawkinson History Room in the Hudson Area Public Library. Those from Hudson know the name Willis Miller and remember the wonderful news articles he wrote for the Hudson Star Observer, especially his historic Hudson pieces and pictures from the past which highlighted Hudson's history. Few residents know of the totally awesome resource he created, The Hobby, and how it works. The Hobby is the Hudson Area Biographical Index. Willis recorded names in the Hudson Star Times from 1890 to 1905 and the Hudson Star Observer from 1909 through 2005, as well as some earlier newspapers and created an index so anyone with the hobby in a library with these newspapers can easily look up a name and find the actual newspaper article to read, save, and or print. Pretty amazing. To use the hobby, simply look up the name of someone you're researching in the alphabetical index by last name. Married women are usually listed under their married name. If you find the person you are looking for, the index will list the paper, date of paper, and a brief context in which the name occurs, such as an obit, marriage record, or other notable occasion. For example, I look for the name Alton McKenzie in the corresponding book, Book 15, MacDonald E.E. E. through Morissette Duane, and decide that this entry is the one I'm looking for. The index shows that the HSO or Hudson Star Observer had multiple articles on Alton including one on ride railroad tracks in 1947, marriage announcement in 1949, the selling of his grocery store in 1974, a goodbye party for him in 1974, and a death notice in 1975 and follow-up obituary in 1976. Sometimes the index even includes the section and or page number the article is on too. Bingo! Now I can find the microfilm in the Nancy L. Hawkinson History Room at the Hudson Area Public Library and read, save, and or print the article I want. Willis Miller left our community an invaluable gift, easy access to our history. Please check out the hobby in the history room where you can use a printed copy and also purchase a copy on DVD of your very own. If you need help with the microfilm machine, just check out our video on the ScanPro 2000.